Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I have another Shop Miss A haul. I know I've done one of these really recently on my channel, probably in my last like four or five videos, but I just love shopping on their site. I love looking through all of the dollar goodies, whether it's makeup, they recently put on like lots of good like accessories, home things, just little cutesy items. Do you guys know when you go to like the Dollar Tree or your local dollar store and you're just so enticed to buy so many things because everything's a dollar and it's such a good deal and there's so many cute items items that you probably don't need but you buy anyway because they are a dollar. That is how I feel when shopping on Shop Miss A. It is just really fun. It's fun to look through their website. So here's what my package from Shop Miss A looked like this time. It always comes in this amazing bubble envelope mailer that opens up to all the goodies on the inside. This is extremely, extremely protective. They fit so much stuff in here. And I love receiving these bubble envelopes in the mail. It's so secure, definitely one of the best packaging from any website that I've ever purchased product from. I will go through all these goodies today that I got. Of course, everything that I talk about will be listed and linked down below. If you guys didn't know, I am a Shop Miss A affiliate. So if you do shop through my links or purchase anything from Shop Miss A through my link, I will make a small commission so thank you guys in advance for supporting me and my channel in this way I really appreciate it but as always there is no pressure to use my link you can definitely just go to the shop miss a website and shop for these products on your own if you prefer to do it that way so I really hope that you guys enjoy seeing this video and if you want to see everything that I got this time around from shop miss a make sure to keep on watching let's go ahead and jump on into it two small things that I want to address before I start showing you the goodies one my background I feel like I mentioned this in my last video but I am on the struggle bus with styling my background for my videos I took down a lot of the pictures that are on my wall because I just want to find new things I kind of want a different style if you guys have any background recommendations please let me know and then two which I hope you guys can't hear but ever since taking down the photos on my wall and I got some new furniture in my room I feel like my room has a slight echo to it but I'm hoping you don't hear that with the use of my microphone that I wear in my videos so if you do hear it, I apologize. I'm hoping to get everything situated soon in my filming situation here, but I'm here today. I'm excited to be filming, so let's jump on into what I got. So the first thing that I picked up from Shop Miss A, I thought this was so amazing. Again, everything will be linked down below if it still is available. This is their seven piece AOA Studio Wonder Blender collection, their blender vault. I believe that this was 650, but you do get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and sponges you get five full-size sponges and then the two mini sponges which I feel like is a really incredible deal there are just so many great sponges in here they're microfiber sponge they're normal sponges they're little mini oh these are called mini mochi that is so cute with the little flat edge I love this orange, really fun for Halloween. Just so many cute different sponge options. I go through sponges like water as well. I've been trying really hard to use them for like maybe a month and then toss them and replace them. So the Shop Missé sponges are great for that because typically they are only around a dollar. So you use them for a month, you toss them, and then you don't really feel bad about it because it's not like you're spending $20 on a beauty blender that you're just going to end up throwing away. So that was the first thing that I picked up. I felt like it was a great deal for what you are getting. Next Next up, I did go ahead and pick up a couple of more sponges and like sponge related accessories. So I will just go through those now. I picked up four of their AOA Studio Mini Wonder Blenders. I picked these up just like last time in my Shop Miss A haul. My mom really likes these, so I picked up four of them for her. I got her four of them because she has a bad habit of accidentally throwing them away because they are tiny and they do get misplaced. So mom, if you're watching this, I got you four. Hopefully these last you. A long time I mean I do get it they are tiny sometimes I do use like towels or like hand wipes and stuff to kind of clean my hands as I'm doing my makeup I know she does the same so I could see how they could get thrown out easily I remember once I threw out my retainer like that my very expensive retainer I took it out to eat and placed it in a napkin and that was the last time I saw that expensive retainer so definitely could see how these are easy to throw away they are very tiny but I picked up four of them just all the same mini black wonder blender based off of other AOA studio sponges that I've tried I'm sure that these are really great the full-size sponges that I picked up this time around I got their Paw Paw wonder blender in oh I forgot what this is called it's like the hourglass shape 
If you guys can see, I actually just used my L'Oreal sponge that looks like this this morning. It has like that hourglass shape to it, as I mentioned. These are very soft. I really like their Paw Paw Wonder Blenders. These are specifically the super soft ones. They have a really nice finish. Are they like the absolute best sponges I've ever tried? I still think that I prefer my e.l.f. Total Face Sponge, but I would definitely say that they are still top five. I actually have a whole video on the best drugstore and affordable sponges on my channel, and I included the shop Misse sponges because they are really, really good. The Elf Total Face sponges, to me, nothing could ever top those, but these are really great, especially for a dollar. So I also picked up another one of their microfiber wonder blenders. This is their latex-free velvety layer high definition sponge. I don't know why I picked this one up because I still have not tried the other one that I purchased last time around. These are supposed to be dupes for the Juno and Co sponges, which I've never tried those either. So I'm definitely still new to the micro fiber velvet sponge trend I still got to try it out I will definitely keep you guys updated but I figured I would just get another one I finally picked up a sponge holder I have been using sponges for years and when I travel with them back and forth the dirty sponge obviously gets foundation or powder all over anything else that's in my makeup bag or in my purse or wherever I throw my sponge kind of last minute to take with me but I picked up the cutest makeup blender travel case again this is AOA studio which which is Shop Miss A's house brand. It's just this little silicone holder. You pop the sponge in it, you put the cap back on, and it has holes to let your sponge breathe, which I think is great to always aerate the sponge, especially if it's wet, you don't kind of want to trap it. It kind of keeps the sponge more sanitary as well as keeping the inside of my bag clean. It kind of works both ways, I guess you could say. Finally, for sponges and sponge accessories, I promise this is the last thing. I got the Cube Blender Holder, their sponge antimicrobial holder. I don't know how practical this is going to be for me. I definitely have to start implementing this on my vanity and see if it's something that I use, but it's definitely something that I want to start using because from just experience with doing my makeup, obviously, I'm using my sponge. It's dirty, it's full of foundation, it's full of powder and then I will put it down on my table which of course I try to keep my table clean and sanitary but you never know it could be collecting dust not only that as you guys can see I have the white vanity it gets lots of foundation stains when I just place my sponge down on my vanity so instead you kind of place it wait which way does it go I think you could put it either way you just place the sponge in here yeah, you could definitely use either side. And then you have a little holder for your sponge. And also I thought this was very cute, the rose gold. I'm going to leave it on my vanity as little decoration. And I just thought it was cute. I'm definitely saying cute a lot in this video, so I apologize. Everything else I got is kind of like random or some makeup thing. So I'm just going to kind of grab out of the bag and see what comes out. So this is the AOA Studio Tanning Mitt Applicator Mitt for Body. I think I mentioned in my last video, I did start self tanning. I'm kind of debating making a video on that. I want to kind of get more into a routine, make sure I'm doing it right, make sure this is the one that I absolutely want to recommend to you guys. I think I self tan today is Saturday. I did it Tuesday, so it's still a pretty fresh tan. I don't know if you guys can see my face might be a little bit lighter than my neck and my body because it is a pretty dark tan, but I absolutely love it. I think it's very natural, but I picked up a tanning mitt. I figured for a dollar. You can't go wrong right now. I'm currently using the Bondi Sands mitt. I think it was like six dollars or something at Walgreens. I don't know how this one is going to be in comparison. Oh my God, this literally only goes over my fingers. It doesn't even fit like my whole hand. And it's not double-sided either, which I don't prefer. I feel like I like the ones that are double-sided with the tanning material so you could kind of distribute the mousse and then turn it over and like buff it in a little bit without putting too much product on. I don't know. I'm not totally obsessed with this so far, but I think I would have to use it and see how it actually kind of spreads out the tan and everything. But it's a lot smaller than I thought it would be, but we will see. Maybe I can't complain for only a dollar. It might be good for smaller areas or like touch up. I will definitely have to use it. So here's one of the random things that I picked up. I picked up this pair of bamboo chopsticks for $1.33. 
I don't know why I picked these up. I don't really know how to use chopsticks, if I'm being completely honest with you. If you ever see me using chopsticks, I'm definitely using them wrong, but still making it work, if you know what I mean. So, I don't know. I wanted my own pair of chopsticks for if I ever get like sushi at home, sometimes in the supermarket, and they don't have chopsticks there. I literally have no idea how to use chopsticks, like I said, so don't judge me. I'm not the best. I feel like it helps me eat slower and actually enjoy what I'm eating. Sometimes I eat certain things like noodles very, very fast. So I don't know. I will see how this goes. I'm not the biggest fan of wooden objects. I don't love like popsicle sticks. I absolutely refuse to eat popsicle sticks. It's definitely kind of one of my I don't want to say phobias because it's not really a phobia, but like nails on a chalkboard type of feeling popsicle sticks give me, but some certain chopsticks don't bother me. So I will definitely have to test these out and see. These seem a little bit rough. I don't know if I'm going to like eating with them. I picked up a pack of unscented blotting paper. This comes with 50 sheets. It's mattifying blotting paper. I have not had blotting sheets since high school because you guys know I love the dewiness. I've been embracing more of that natural kind of oily look. But sometimes I have realized with certain makeup products, I am just like a little teeny tiny bit too oily at the end of the day or like halfway through my work day. So I figured picking up some blotting sheets would help instead of touching up with more makeup. And again, I haven't had a pack of blotting sheets since Wow, I wanna say like four or five years now. Oh, these are cute, they're green. Actually, another reason that I picked these up again is for one, I do foundation reviews or face makeup reviews and I wanna see how my oils kind of look at the end of the day. If you guys watch Juicy Jazz, who you know I love, I love her video so much. She's definitely my YouTube inspiration. Whenever she does a check-in at the end of the day for a foundation review or like a wear test, she takes blotting papers so you guys can physically see how much oil is coming off her face and I think it's a great way to show you guys who are watching the review exactly how much oil comes off the face and how much the foundation needs to be touched up. I went ahead and picked up another one of their Neon Buttercream Gel Liner and Eyeshadows. I used this in my last testing new makeup haul to do a wing with the pink one and I absolutely loved it. This is a really nice gel eyeliner formula. This time around, I picked it up in the shade Ambition, which it's a little bit of a strange red. You guys are probably like Jackie red eyeliner. I don't know about that one, but I actually picked it up because I am going to be Freddy Krueger for Halloween. So I figured I could use it to add some redness to my eyes. Even I'm gonna draw like his burns on my face. I figured I could use this kind of like a face paint. Here's what the red looks like. I think for Halloween, it might be a little bit too much of a bright red for what I'm going for, but I could always use it as a base or kind of like an outline and kind of work off of it. It definitely could be some sort of a starting point for my Halloween look. Another makeup item that I picked up is a repurchase for me. This is the AOA Studio Perfect Setting Powder in the shade Soft Light. This has been my absolute favorite go-to setting powder. I am almost completely out of the one that I purchased previously. It is just the most perfect setting powder where it keeps your makeup on all day. It really locks in your makeup. It does not crease. It sets everything so beautifully, but it's not too matte and it's not too luminous either. It just has that perfect soft natural finish with like a little tiny bit of a sheen to it. This is the powder that I have on my face today. Of course, minus the area with my highlighter. I just think it is extremely natural. It doesn't look like you're wearing powder on the skin, yet, like I said, it just keeps everything in place all day long. For this only being a dollar, this is definitely one of Shop Miss A's hidden gems when it comes to makeup. It is so, so good, even better than high-end powders that I've tried, honestly. It's incredible. I picked up two packs of their Invisible Acne Patches with Tea Tree. I've never tried acne patches before. Here are what the ones from Shop Miss A look like. Very curious to try a pimple patch but honestly I didn't want to go ahead and spend the money on like the mighty patches or some of the high-end ones that are out there I know the mighty patches aren't crazy expensive I think they range from like 12 to 15 dollars depending on which one you purchase but I just wanted to try these I'm not someone who tends to get a lot of acne a lot of my acne and my skin imperfections are more like texture clogged pores little blackheads and things like that I feel like my skin is in a pretty good place I haven't really had a lot of issues with acne 
acne or whiteheads or like big zits, I guess you could say. But I figured these were always good to have on hand and I just wanted to try them. So I figured why not from Shop Ms. A. I have heard that tea tree is pretty good for acne. If you guys have any feedback on these, any suggestions, if you don't agree with me, if you don't think that these are good for the skin, definitely let me know. I'm always open to your suggestions and feedback when it comes to stuff like this, especially skincare products for my sensitive skin. It doesn't look like it has too many ingredients, but it is kind of like a little hydrocolloid, hydrocolloid, hydrocolloid adhesive. So we will see. Oh, I'm so excited about this. For a dollar, I picked up a square nail file. These are like the ones that they use in the nail salons and I've been wanting one of these. So I was very excited when I saw it on their website. Here's what this looks like again, just like a square professional nail file. It was called professional nail file on their website. I picked this up because I do get acrylic nails as I'm sure you guys can see. Sometimes, just sometimes when I go, I feel like they're not as sharp as they could be. As you guys can see, I get like a square tip, a little tiny bit of a tapered square, but I like the edges of them to be very, very sharp. And sometimes I feel like I don't get that or sometimes after a week, the edges kind of dull out. If you get acrylics or long nails, you'll definitely know what I mean. So I just wanted to get this professional grade nail file to kind of sharpen up the edges of my nails where I see fit. And typically, like I said, that happens like a week after you get them done. My nails are fairly new. I got them done just like three or four days ago now. So I think that they are looking okay, but maybe come next week, I will take this nail file and kind of just like square them out a little bit more and make them nice and sharp because that's just how I prefer my nails to be. So very excited to try this. I was going through my makeup drawers the other day and I realized that I was kind of low on strip lashes, whether that's for my own personal use or if I'm doing someone else's makeup. I just wanted to pick up some more strip lashes. So I picked up this pack of six sets of lashes for $5.80, which where are you going to find lashes for under a dollar each? I feel like that is absolutely incredible. Such a good deal. And these are Shop Miss A's best-selling lashes, I believe. They're Alexis lashes. And these actually remind me a lot of the Demi Wispy lashes as well, which are some of my favorites when I do go ahead and wear a strip lash, which I'm sure you guys know is not often. I don't really wear lashes period but like i said once in a while for an event or if i'm doing someone else's makeup it couldn't hurt to have some lashes on hand so again six pairs of lashes for 580. last but certainly not least for the shop miss a haul probably the thing that i am the most excited about in this video is the gua sha that i picked up for a dollar 88. it has been impossible to find one of these in my opinion that is not really really expensive for some reason when i saw that this was in stock on shop miss a i snatched it up so fast like you guys would not believe i have just heard so many good things about these i heard you could really like help get the circulation moving in your face it kind of helps get any what would the word be is it liquid fluid fluid is the right word like out of your chin here to kind of really like press it down i've just heard that this is really great for your skin again for the circulation on your face and body it says apply face oil then gently sweep the jade stone across and in upwards motions across the jawline cheekbones and forehead i'm very excited to use this definitely something i'm going to watch a couple of videos on if you guys have any feedback or suggestions on how to use the gua sha definitely let me know but I've been wanting these for so long and I couldn't believe when I found it for a dollar 88 definitely something I'm going to start implementing into my skincare routine all right you guys so that is going to complete this video that is everything that I got from shop miss a this time around those are all of the dollar makeup goodies accessories random things that I got from shop miss a I really hope that you guys enjoyed seeing this video and spending time with me today if you did and if you want to see more shop miss a hauls in the future please make sure to give this video a thumbs up so I know and it really helps me out. Also make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel before you leave. I would love to have you guys here as part of my little YouTube fam. If you don't want to miss out on any of my future videos, click that notification bell down below and you'll get notified every single time that I upload a new video. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.